Alright, listen, I know I'm late on this by like three days now, but someone had to study for AP exams, so give your boy a break. Hello, bitches. Today, my name is Fermented Ham. Whoever wrote that comment, I completely applaud you because you are taking this joke to an extreme now. You guys know I don't really do commentary videos. I'm not really a fan of them, but something about this Met Gala really hurt right here. If you don't know what the Met Gala is, it's basically this event that happens in New York where they just show off the fashion for this year. It's one of the biggest fashion shows. Basically, it's a big event that everyone should know about. This year, they decided to do the theme camp. Not the equipment you take to the backyard when you want to be with nature. There's not a great definition for camp. You kind of just eventually know what is camp and what isn't. It's an aesthetic that's supposed to be like ironic and exaggerated, kind of cheesy and cliche, and also sometimes looks bad but on purpose and it's okay to do that. It's also part performance just because drag queens kind of, you know, invented this movement of camp and they had to perform with these looks but now they're used all the time on Drag Race. If you watch Drag Race, you know it's camp. You have campy queens, you have campy designers and it's really fun to look at. I've seen lots of looks from the past Met Galas and I feel like this theme was the one time they could do something really crazy and fun and let's just say They sucked. I don't care if you spend tens of thousand dollars, even a million dollars, on this one dress for the Met Gala. If it looks bad, I'm gonna tell you it looks bad, because I'm pretty sure everyone else agrees. Now, I'm not a fashion expert, and I don't study fashion professionally or as a major, but I am gay, and I have opinions, and I'm loud and sassy, so we're gonna, we're gonna rant. I have my phone here, and I'm gonna look at the pictures, and we're just gonna get into it. First of all, I'm not even gonna talk about this look. I'll go back to it in a few minutes, but we, we know she won, okay? She did fine. I'd rather show you the bad ones before we get the good ones out of the way, because there's not that many. First one up is Kendall Jenner. Now, I'm gonna say I was really impressed. In my opinion, I think that the Kardashians as kind of basic and not being able to think of these creative concepts, really. Honestly, it maybe wasn't them. Maybe it was their designer. But either way, they did it well. She looks like a phoenix, and Kylie Jenner looks like, honestly, an Ariana Grande music video. I don't remember which one, but I'm just gonna put it right here. And it's exaggerated. It's not a regular dress. There's fucking feathers everywhere. If there's one word to describe the trends for this Met Gala that isn't just disappointing, it's feathers. Or basic, I don't know. Overall, this is pretty good compared to the rest of the stuff. I would not say this is full camp though. Now we have Kylie Jenner. Look at her arms. They're fucking ginormous. It's exaggerated. It's not on her shoulders, which I really hate when people shove things all over their shoulders trying to make them look strong and dominant, but they just look like a square. This looks so much more powerful because to me it's like you have a wristband that is on steroids. Celine Dion usually does campy stuff. Uh, to me, she looks like spaghetti right now. Um, like 7 out of 10. I will say though, the amount of headpieces in this Met Gala is offensive. Honestly, when I first saw this on Twitter, I thought she looked like a period stain. In the best way possible. It's not an insult. I really like this look. It also looks like a mattress or that thing you have under your Christmas tree to prevent the leaves from- I, I mean, does no one else see that? But this is camp because it's the most extra train you can think of. And it's red, not just the basic silver or gold or platinum. The vaginal area is a little bit questionable, but once again, it could be the period theme, so I applaud her for that. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. If there's one thing I really hate about fashion, it's the fact that the majority, like 95% of men at any red carpet will just put on a simple tuxedo, maybe it's a patterned blazer or a patterned shirt underneath, and call it fashion, and say, I'm not like other guys. It's... It's so aggravating because there's so few men that try to blur the lines of femininity and masculinity and they just all go for the same fucking suit and shape every time and I'm sick and tired of it. That is what I feel about Liam. Even though he's attractive, we all know that, but it doesn't matter how pretty you are, the suit is boring. It's appropriate for like a third date at a fancy restaurant, not the Met Gala. But Miley Cyrus looks like a uh, present. If she stood on top of Cardi B, that would look really good and cohesive, but it's meh, you know, like, 
It's okay. If she put a bow on the top of her hair, like a fat ass one, that would have been much better. No, okay. Going to Jennifer Lopez. Everyone is wearing gold and silver and platinum. <laughs> Cause that's more expensive and cool apparently. And they all just think that if you put a bunch of diamonds and crystals and wear a headpiece of the same fabric, you're suddenly doing camp. Maybe that's appropriate for like People's Choice Awards, but not the Met Gala because this is extreme fashion that you have to take risks. If she did this at the Met Gala last year, it'd be like, oh, she kind of tried. But this year it's like you are a year behind. Also, I'm not good at pronouncing names and I don't know a lot of celebrities because I am living under a rock, but the, I'm gonna assume this is Ciara. Once again, more feathers. I love the green. I think it's a different color opposed to gold, silver, and platinum. The hair, I don't know how she did that. I'm gonna assume it's like 500 wigs, but if it's her natural hair, oh, Jesus. Kudos for her because she did that. Either way, she looks like an African goddess. It's not too camp. The hair helps it, but... It, Okay, one thumbs up for you. Kim Kardashian, there's not much I need to say besides the fact that she did good. Not amazing, because I don't like the center line going down, but I'll let that pass because the idea that she did, it gives me like, it reminds me of Aquaria when she did her mermaid look, except this is like the elegant version of it. She looks like a naked plastic mermaid going out of the water in Cancun or something. And it looks great! Good job. The Kardashians all did a pretty good job this year, which is sad to say. Lupita? Oh my god, she did. <clears throat> what is that? One, two, three, four, five hair combs. The tool around her chest and shoulder and back, really exaggerated. Really gay too, might I add. She sort of looks like a butterfly. She is holding rainbow flowers. Only thing I question is just the hips down, because I'm like, why are we using Jewish stars for this outfit? Maybe I don't know the reference. Once again, I don't know the history of every single outfit made. I don't know what the designers were thinking, but I was honestly surprised by her because I would not expect this from her. She is elegant on another level, so I wouldn't expect her to do something as fun as this, so good for her. I'm not doing every look, by the way, because some of them are too boring to talk about. Casey Musgraves. This is giving me, like, Legally Blonde 2. She's ready to go into the White House and get that fucking bill passed. The purse, if you can even call it a purse, is amazing. It's so extra. I will say, though, seeing this after Lady Gaga's look, it's kind of like, oh, you're kind of copying her, but she still did it well. Winnie Harlow, another headpiece that doesn't make sense for the outfit. Is that just a black feathered coat half of her shoulder? Oh, a bunch of crystals on a nude suit, because that's camp. Honestly, Winnie Harlow has one of the best bodies and the most unique, so why is she covering it with this, like, maleficent monstrosity? If she just went out with a thong and... What do you call this? What do you call these? I, okay, boob stickers. Is that the best thing? I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. Boob stickers, Frederick the Pasties. Emily Blunt. Oh my god, I thought she was Sarah Paulson for a second. But you know those DIYs where you like put a layer of glue on a piece of paper or maybe like glass, and then you stick gold leaf on it trying to make it look aesthetic and fancy for fall? This is exactly what I'm getting. And I'm sorry, it does not, it's not camp at all. Gemma Chan. Okay, I have a bias against the Crazy Rich Asians cast. I love them. I love the whole movie. But you're at the wrong Met Gala. This is for last year. But once again, a headpiece does not necessarily make your outfit better. It's actually distracting because it doesn't go well with the outfit. And it's not camp at all. A drag queen can make that under an hour. Ooh, Zendaya. Okay, I, I like this. And Tommy Hilfiger. Excuse me? You know what? I wouldn't expect him to be able to do that, but... Tommy, he'll figure it out. Uh, why do you watch me? I'm so stupid. This is what camp is supposed to be. If you saw the actual video, she gave a whole performance with the witch and the smoke all around her. This lights up, which is one of the taggiest things you can do, and that is why it's so camp. This is literally a costume for trick-or-treating, except that is why it's camp. I love it so much, even though the dress is a little bit like... What's the good word? Simple? I'm not gonna say it's the most extravagant, expensive looking thing. It doesn't have to be for camp. You could have worn grass as a vagina, leaves on your boobs, carry a camping tent, and that would have been considered camp too. You don't need the most expensive stuff for camp. So, good job for you, Zendaya. Oh, this makes me so mad. Constance Wu, giving me Met Gala 2018 again. I am convinced 
that Gemma Chan and Constance Wu and Aquafina, because we're gonna see her soon, they all collaborated and said, you know what, let's do the Met Gala 2018, because we're edgy. Constance, you're really beautiful and you were amazing in Crazy Rich Agents, but this is not camp. So Lange Knowles, sorry if I butchered the name, but she butchered the outfit, so I'm gonna use that as my excuse. I wouldn't even say you could wear this on the red carpet and look that fashionable. This is like, I wouldn't even want to see anyone wearing this because I don't like the pattern. It's kind of made for a carpet, or maybe a ceiling if you want. Alessia Cara, oh Jesus. I swear to God, I've seen this at my middle school dance. Not even prom, eighth grade dance. I feel like this made her look so much younger than she actually is. This is not camp. The shoes, sure. That's it though. Lily Reinhardt, okay, once again, I have a bias against Riverdale. You can find me all you want, but I'm only speaking facts right now. It's an average plot with hot character to make up for its lackluster writing. Facts, like if you agree. I feel like this could have been so much more exaggerated. She could have looked like Queen Elizabeth. I don't know what this part is called, I'm blanking right now, but you know the big part beneath your waist where it just shoots out like a bell. That with this color, with that makeup and the way that hair is styled, that would have been camp because I would have said, you're giving me Queen Lily Reinhardt the third and no, she didn't do that. She got like 30% there. Emma Stone, mm, she does not, she should not wear those. I love her in dresses so much more. This is not saying you can't wear a jumpsuit, but you shouldn't wear that jumpsuit. It kind of looks like she's just showing up for a casual walk in the park. Like, it, I feel like she can do more. Aquafina. Okay, first of all, it's not good, but it, she's giving me, like, wife to CeeLo Green. First of all, she needs to get rid of one of these. Maybe both, because one might be too much already. Why is it, like, one line? I get that you don't have to do the feminine figure all the time, but it would look better for this look. Either way, not camp. Next. Cara Delevingne. Oh, this is camp. This is like striped socks that you used to wear in third grade camp. Oh my god, oh my god. This is giving me like striped candy or like jawbreaker. And then that cane she's holding is like those pointer finger ones I used to always buy as a kid and it had that rainbow um, pattern on it. The headpiece works so well because it's like a toy store. This is camp. Nicki Minaj. This is the thing. Unless you are known for always doing camp, you can't do your own like style. If she did something more along the lines of her super bass music video that was like even more exaggerated, I would have loved that, but that is not it. This is camp. This is what I'm here for. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's it's so good. This would have won the Hats on Hats challenge in RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. She has four fucking hats on. She has her lips on her knee, her eyes on her nipple, her eyelashes are like her boob hair right now, and the glove on her left arm. It's so good. It's a shoot. For those of you who know what I'm referencing, please let me know because I love it. Lily Collins. Oh, it's so good. What strikes me the most is her head. Like that makeup and the way the hair is styled. It's like Amy Winehouse and Lana Del Rey and also a bit of like... <clears throat> it's giving me a little bit of Vanellope from wreck -a ralph Is it not? Am I going crazy here? Maybe I am. Anyways, it's good. I really like it. Camp. Okay, I'm sorry. Unless you were trying to be Abe Lincoln, you cannot just put on a hat and hold a cane and say like, oh, I'm doing camp. If you added a beard, add 15 inch heels minimum. Like, you have to be tall for this. Or a full suit, I would have said amazing camp. I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna say it right now and you can attack me if you want. I feel like this has been done before. <laughs> right here and it's not even that camp because I, I like okay he looks great we get it he's amazing but is it camp it is black pants with a sheer top you could have worn that Katy Perry this is what I came for this is like Lumiere reincarnated in some alternate reality where he is a chandelier instead also this is like the best she's looked in a while. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know why I'm saying it when she's dressed as a chandelier but in my opinion she looks really good Sarah Paulson oh why are you holding a wine bottle? Okay, is she trying to say like, I'm a wine bottle and this is your present? Like the bow is a wrapped around her and her body looks like a wine bottle? Maybe. If you did that idea a little bit more, like painted your whole face gold, I would have been like, yes, work. But why is the bow covering your boobs? You should have ripped off that bow, give it to Miley Cyrus, put it on her head. She would have been a present. I would have loved that. I don't really consider her the most amazing at fashion choices, but it, I wish I had more from her because I love her American Horror Story. RuPaul, 
We're all disappointed you didn't show up in drag, but you did camp because you know what camp fucking is. It's an oversized bow tie. It's long ass bell bottoms. It is the weirdest pattern. It's like a zebra that is hallucinating. And there's fur on here or feathers. More feathers. This is camp. That is camp. Oh no, I'm out of tea. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up because I need more tea. Sean Mendes. These men are gonna kill me, I swear to god. It's like, so simple. Okay, he either has wet hair or really gelled hair, which you, you should never do unless you were in 8th grade middle school and you're doing that spiky haircut. It's like Liam Hemsworth's whole outfit with silver lining. No, let me find someone who actually came and showed to the party. Ezra fucking Miller did that. It is so wrong. So insane. The wig is on point. His lips are so beautiful actually. Like, what is that Cupid's bow? The illusion is amazing. This is camp. It's just so weird. Michael Yuri. Oh my god, he is so pretty as a girl. Can we just talk about that for a second? This would have won the season 7 challenge. You know what I'm talking about from Drag Race. But look at this. It's half man, half woman. But also, each half is also a half. So it's like four. You have the suit with the makeup and the beauty mark, which is a nice touch. He shaved his beard just for this too. Perfect. And then the dress, it steps literally all over Emma Roberts. She is running away from this look after because that tool is so much better. If you just cover half of the face, it's like man in a dress, woman in a suit. Amazing. Beautiful. Perfect. Now to the last look. Lady Gaga. Gaga. Oh my god. Obviously, she has done camp before these celebrities even heard of camp. Some of them still don't know what it is and you could have easily Googled it in five seconds. Everything about the first look is camp. It's exaggerated. Exaggerated eyelashes, exaggerated expression. Did you see the way she used her face in that performance to make it so much more appealing? You have a whole crew with you because you're this extra. This is what everyone should have done. But no, you let Lady Gaga get away with it once again because none of you have her brain and she's amazing. Then she takes off the big pink dress and reveals this black dress under and it's like I'm Mary Poppins except the evil twin sister it's so right and the hair works for both looks which is a very important thing when you're doing a reveal if you've watched your pulse draggers you know how important that is then she takes that part off and reveals another dress and it's like mean girls legally blonde she had the biggest phone which is giving me telephone music video and the glasses it's like classic Lady Gaga then she takes that part off and this last look it's like who had the guts to go out almost bare naked besides Lady Gaga? That is what makes it camp. It's so extreme and only like a few people could pull that off. Those shoes, that could kill anyone. That could impale any person because it's so long. Yes, I am eating all of this up and you're going to like it. You should have paid $100 at least just to watch her do that for 16 minutes because that was a show. That is what camp is. You did that Lady Gaga. Anyways. That is all I have. If I had to put the Met Gala 2019 in one word, I'd just say choices. <laughs> I expected so much more from the men and the women and the designers, everyone actually, but there's always next year, so you can redeem yourself. Make the Met Gala great again, please. But maybe I'll do more fashion reviews if you guys like this. So if you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below about your favorite outfit and subscribe for more videos every Saturday slash Sunday or Wednesday slash Thursday so I'm not procrastinating from homework. I love you guys and everything is less than three.